We are back with Mayo Clinic Wellness Executive Chef Jen Welper. She has some veggies for us now. Yeah, so we're going to make some um, potato cauliflower garlic mash. I love cauliflower. <laughs> Looking forward to this. As I do as well. And then we're going to do some roasted Brussels sprouts. The hideous ro roasted Brussels sprouts everyone Things they don't like until right. they eat them, right? Exactly. So what I've got is I've got some potatoes already in here cooking. And so I'm like, I like to make sure that I am very efficient and I don't like a lot of dishes. Uh -huh. So what I'm doing is I've already got my potatoes in there. They're at a, at a spot where I can now add my cauliflower. So I can just kind of raise this up. Sure. Throw those in. Um, and so what this is doing is this is spreading out our potatoes, right? right? I mean, we're in the Midwest. So you might be able to fool someone that yes. you're cooking for that might not like the cauliflower option. That's right. Just don't tell them. It's a big <laughs> secret. Um, no, but this is something that's really helpful because, again, it goes by that volume, right? So what I usually should only have half a cup, now I can have a full cup, right? right. Because it's going to be half cauliflower, half potatoes, or it depends on how you kind of make it. And that's what we're looking to do is to almost kind of trick our eye but not rob our palate. Yeah. And I think that's super important to keep that all in check. Now, this, this meal goes into that theme, that volume eating trend. However, this is just a great meal for anyone to have. Yes, absolutely. And the, the best thing about something like this is the leftovers. You can turn these into potato cakes. Yeah. So you could add some some green onions, some sharp cheddar cheese, some Gruyere, something really pungent. Yeah. And then you have that leftover, and you can then put those in the freezer, right? So now you have like meal prep done, mm. and I think that's what's really important. Yeah. So while this is cooking, I'm also going to be um, steaming some Brussels sprouts. I have some already done, but what I like to show is I've got this vessel going. Why couldn't I steam some green beans, steam some carrots? Tom's here. Guess who showed up? Yeah. I was eating my. Figgy pudding, but I thought, boy, this smells darn yeah. good as well. So I will set the figgy pudding down. Yeah. You know, I like the idea of the Gruyere cheese with yes. the mashed cauliflower. So I think good. that would be really very so tasty. Now we're just adding the Brussels sprouts right on top here. Yeah, so we're just going to steam. So instead of getting a whole other pot out for it, I'm already steaming. Right. Why would I do something extra, a whole other step? And so when it comes to like meal prepping, I only need to steam. I could put a lid on this, steam these for a little bit take it out, do some carrots, do some green beans. If you're sure. doing pasta, what have you, sure. doesn't matter. I like that idea because a lot of people don't have those fancy contraptions where you put the veggies on the bottom and right. the steam. This is a great thing, just a colander on top of a yeah. steaming pot. Right, exactly. And we have a little red onion too. Yes, we have to have some color. Again, we eat with our eyes, so we really want to make sure that we give some, um, some love to it. And, you know, think about it. Um, when people think of healthy food, they have a very mm -hmm. bad um, connotation to healthy yes. food, yes. right? And so we want to make sure, I never tell someone, oh, this is healthy. I don't even, I don't even tell you that. Right. You know, maybe after you're done eating it, <laughs> you know. You know, yeah. some of the low carb options, I think actually taste as good, if not they better. They do. And um, I chose to lose a lot of weight. I think it was about six, seven years ago. So I eat, you know, healthy, good. I reduce carbs. I, I didn't cut all the carbs right. out, but this, this is pretty darn yeah. good. It takes like, a little bit of time, mm -hmm, just but a little bit. It, yeah. it, it even tastes better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right. All right, so all we're going to do is add just a little bit of olive oil and throw these in our little oven and okay. get these nice and roasted. And the beauty of doing this style is by adding the um, oil to the bowl, I can evenly coat mm -hmm. my vegetables versus putting this on a pan and then drizzling the oil on there. Some areas might be well you know, oiled versus others. Sure. So this is going to mm -hmm. make it a little bit more efficient. Okay. So we're just going to place this right on. And how long do they need to be it's in there? It's going to take about 15 minutes, oh, give that's or take. All. Okay. Yeah, not too I bad. I like your oven here, too. Oh, it's so efficient, especially if you're just cooking for one or two. It's really nice. Oh, you just got the French what the, the French the doors French where they <laughs> open up. I just learned that off of, what, QDC <laughs> the other week. <laughs> not that I watch. No, you do. <laughs> where you get all your shoes, right? I do. <laughs> so after that, what we're going to do is just kind of drain out what's left of this. And we're going to chop a little bit more. Um, time. So, kind of again, this whole part of this is we had time in our pork tenderloin. Right. Wow. We have time in this dish where it's not over in abundance. Okay, so, so we're tying it now. We're tying all it all together. Yep. All right, we have the Brussels sprouts in. We are going to take a quick break and we'll have mm. our finished product when we come back. It smells With so Chef good. Jen. Yay. <laughs> Making you wait to eat uh, now. Okay.